In a packed absorption column, the contact time between liquid and gas is important. Liquid flows over packing surfaces down the column to absorb the gas that flows upward from the bottom of the column. An even thickness of liquid over packing uh, that will form a very thin film would cause a permanent and localized path which would be created through the packing because the liquid would tend to flow down a path that, it is, that has the least resistance. The definition of channeling is that when low liquid flow rates create a dry packing surface which would cause stagnant film of liquid. A large diameter packed tower have poor performance because of channeling. So to minimize this channeling phenomenon, we would reduce the packing diameter, a ratio of column diameter to packing diameter of 8 to 1, or that is small packing. But if the packings are too small, it would cause the liquid to flow down the size of the column which would also decrease the performance of the absorption column. Now we look at pressure drop and limiting flow rates in a packed absorption column. This figure shows the relationship between gas flow rate, denoted as GY, and pressure drop. Pressure drop is bad in an absorption column because if there is high pressure drop, then flooding would occur. This is the pressure drop, the relationship between air mass velocity and pressure drop in a packed tower for the air water system that uses this one inch interlock saddle shown here. There are a number of plots shown here, one for dry and up to GX equals to 36,000. Dry meaning there is no solvent flow rate. GX is the solvent flow rate. The column diameter is 30 inch and the packing height within the column is 10 feet. The packing factor is 92, and here for liquid rate, we use the unit of pounds per feet square per hour. We see that in general, that the air mass velocity is proportional to pressure drop, which means that if you increase air mass velocity, the pressure drop within the column would also increase. But there comes a point when the pressure drop would start to increase exponentially. For example, here, this means that if you were to increase air mass velocity, the chance of flooding would increase as well. A few definitions. Loading point is when the slope changes to vertical. For example, this is a line with a slope, but as you increase the solvent flow rate, you see that the, the slope becomes almost vertical, such as here. When the liquid becomes a continuous phase, or when the pressure drop is high, the flooding point has been reached. In this case, it's about 2 to 3 inches of water per feet of packing. So, GY must be just low enough to avoid flooding. This is a figure that relates flooding velocity with liquid mass velocity, or GY versus GX. And the different lines here are for different types of, different sizes of packing. This one is for 1 half inch packing. Well, this one is for 1 inch and 1 and a half inch, and here is 2 inch. So here we see the effects of the changes in packing size to the relationship between flooding velocity and liquid mass velocity. As you go from small size to big size, you would decrease flooding because the flooding velocity will get larger. The packings can be characterized by a factor called the packing factor or FP, where the lower the FP, the bigger the packing, which means uh, it has more voids in them. We can estimate flooding using this empirical equation gathered from experiments to get a first guess of what is the flooding pressure drop with packing factor. So delta P is equals to 0 0.115 packing factor to the power of 0 0.7, where delta P is the pressure drop at flooding. In this case, uh, for this equation, it uses this unit, inch of water per feet of packing. The packing factor is in units of per meter. Some examples of packing factors are Rashid rings, in this case a ceramic type, has a packing factor of 121 to 1900, which goes from 3.3 inch of water to 22 inch of water. That means you would decrease the pressure drop if you were to increase the Rashid ring, but has lower pressure drop of 2.7 to 3.5. If you were to compare these two, uh, interlock saddles would have a higher chance of flooding compared to Rashid rings. You can use this figure to determine the solvent flow rate and the gas flow rate, the GY here and the GX here. The different plots here are for the different pressure drop criteria. Here is a 0.05 inch of water per feet of packing, and it increased, the pressure drop increased as it goes up. And the other components of the equation shown in the axis are constants. In this case, rho x and rho y are the liquid and gas densities, and mu x is the viscosity of liquid, which are all constant. So in basic terms, this figure relates solvent flow rate to gas flow rate for different flooding pressure drop. We also need to use this figure to determine gx and gy. Here it shows the relationship between gx 
Now Gx, like before, is the solvent flow rate, and Cs is defined by this equation. Again, rho y and rho x are constants, so you don't have to worry about this too much. But mu naught is the superficial gas velocity, which is also related to gas flow rates. From Again, the 0 0.05 up to 1.5 is the pressure drop during flooding by choosing which is the pr design pressure drop with the amount of solvent flow rate. 